Okay, so this is a door tutorial on how for a locking door with two inputs for plates outside and inside. It, you have to dig a 7x9 pit. Um, all the circuitry is inside, except for obviously the buttons that are outside, but that's minimal. Uh, it's four deep. The doors are at the center of the outer row, I guess, so right here. Or something like that. I don't know, we'll see what let me get down there. I'm gonna cut this bit out. Okay, so the first thing you should notice is that there's blocks I didn't take out. Or rather, I put back in. Okay, I'm going to start with the switch. It's the, I guess, second most important, so I'll do that. Also, I just prefer to start with the switch. The buttons. As for the seven block long strip running underneath the doors, that's where the redstone's going to go for the, the the buttons, the, yeah. Okay, so this is necessary to boost the signal, but we're also going to put one on the other door to fix the timing problem that it causes. Okay, so now we got a repeater here that'll delay the right door. Sorry, the left door. We want to put one in to delay the right door, so they open at the same time. Okay, also, this down here is just a, it's just a simple pulse lengthener. Current goes through this first one here. I'm going to get out my UI so I can show you. goes through this one, and at the same time, it's going through this one. takes a little more delay. And back into this one. It locks it off for a second. And out through there. And because of that, we get nice simple three length extension on our nine tick pulse eight or nine I'm not sure but anyways uh, yeah makes it 12 possibly 11 and that's a lot better it's easier for the door not to hit you in the face you can make you can extend that even by adding a tick or four to each of those and all that's really left to do choose how far that you want this side, or how long and far you want this side to go over. It really doesn't matter. Do you want it? I can't have it here, because I just... That'll set off just this door. You can have it two way. Do you want it 23 way? It doesn't really matter. You have to put in a repeater, but you can if you want. 
we'll just do it say eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do nine. Excellent. Apologize for apps quit on me for the time being, so I'm going to show you the pictures for now. Um, I forgot to mention this before, so I'm going to say it now. I told you to run the power just straight across. That doesn't work. You have to divert the power around that block, because if, if you place the redstone there, it'll power the block beside it, and it'll just create a giant feedback loop that it is, the doors will stay open forever, and the only way to, way to fix the current is to break it, and that's just very undesirable, so don't do it. Okay, now I think we're too far away, so this probably isn't going to work. Nope. That'll do it. Yep. Oh. See, and this is why I like put this on a bit more of a delay. You're kidding me. Give it a little more time, just for the hell of it. Wow, that's... I don't like that. I'll do it. And we can lock the door. Open. If we want. Flip switch again, and again. Lock it closed. I don't know why I have my game volume on, but it is. Anyways. Yep. Oh, and just in case you want to see the turn that off. Alright, I can see just how long the pulse is with this. And without it,
kind of give you an idea. Oh, I'm not going to fill it up for you, but when you're filling it up, just make sure you don't cut off any circuits that are need to be open. Like, don't do that. Obviously that's going to cut that. And one last thing. I'm not sure if you knew this, but oops. I did not, so I'm gonna show you. You can do this. Oops. There, that way you don't notice it nearly as much. You don't have to have the space open. Kind of hides it. The only thing you can't do it with is wool, so if you got a wool fo floor, you're kind of screwed, but works with everything else. Looks nice. Yeah, I didn't know that. So, hopefully that helps. Hopefully this tutorial helps. And I guess you can fill in this row that makes it a 8 by 7 Thanks for watching. Seems weird asking you to subscribe, but I just started. I need the support. I'll have my next video up soon.